everyone, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Before we get started into the video, look at me without glasses on. Look at me. If you haven't been watching any of my videos recently or you don't know why I'm making a big deal, I had an eye infection and or an eye condition for about four or five weeks. Um, I started wearing contact lenses, I tempted my eyes into that and it's reacted very well. So today we have mascara on as well because we are so fancy. So yes finally looking like we might be on the way forward so I thought I would sit down in my original filming location today for you to film this video which is going to be a show and tell of the two indie polish boxes that have come out within the UK recently which is the UK indie box which has been around for about two-ish years now and then also the beautifully polished box and this is their first box ever this is not a comparison video by any means i'm not going to pick favorites or which one to buy because i'm just so gleefully happy that we have this type of thing available in the uk i know a lot of you if you're uk based subscribers um, and polishaholics will sit often like i do and, and look at all these lovely options available in the us or in other countries and be jealous and it's great to start having some of our own options one of these was available internationally both of them are not available anymore but hopefully this will give you a little flavor into what was in each box I'll do a little show and tell um, and then you can keep your eye out on them in the future if you miss them so let's dive in I'm going to start with the UK indie box because like I said we've had this one before so this one is um, branded and looked after by a certain Becca Lacca Becca is one of my lovely friends here which I've made from my, my nail polish content and channel so um, she creates this box um, with obviously some indie makers each month I think it's every three or four months that they come out they did a uh, last year i think there was maybe three last year or four forgive me becca if i'm wrong the price of this does vary from box to box depending on the contents there's been some that have been 30 plus shipping 32 i think is what this one was up to sort of 35 so it's it there is different each time depending on what's going to be inside i did also pick up some things from becca which i will show separately at the end of this little segment on the box because um if you do buy anything from becca at the same time she will combine shipping and just send everything at once for you but we're going to talk about this box which came out in February and this was themed on Disney so there are always the four polishes in these boxes and they are all from UK indies and the indies tend to rotate round it's a really good way to try new brands if you've not before and I don't have that much experience with with actually three of these brands that um, have come in the box today. So we will start with the one the brand that I am very familiar with and all should you be if you live in the UK, which is Danglefoot Nail Polish. And hers is called Hello Beastie, which is based off of Maleficent. Um, and it's a lovely multi-chrome, kind of purple, green, blue um, beauty for us here. And it does definitely give me Maleficent vibes. I don't know what all of the theme, like the inspirations were but I definitely know this one was Maleficent so lovely can't wait to wear that one then we move on to my first ever bright and polished and this one is called at first sight it's a beautiful crelly um it's pink in base and then there is orange and gray it wants to look like and then maybe also some multi or duochrome tiny itty bitty little fleck and flakies she did do it when we did um uk polish con when we did a virtual uk polish con i remember that brighton polish did a polish in that collection that i didn't pick up but I really did like the look of it so if Crellies is what Brighton Polish does I need to explore I will be picking up lots more another new brand to me is Polychroma Polish and I really love their label with kind of the splat with the P in it and this one is called I'm Home and I'm pretty sure this was based off of Dory and Marlin I think from Finding uh, Nemo Dory because it's the beautiful Dory polish colour and then the flakes in here are more of your orange and a little bit multi-chrome and they're very much larger than the brand that I just showed you um, I love the packaging on this I love the look I'm very excited again to try it and you know me Flakies and Crellies is what I want. So that is my first ever Polychroma. And the last one is from Cure Polish. I did work with Cure Polish quite some time ago now, and I know they went through a rebrand since then. I haven't tried anything since the rebrand. So this one is called Bella Notte, and it is, first of all, these are the new bottles. So they are a matte kind of finished bottle here with Cure is on embossed in there. Very nice, very fancy. I think Danglefoot's might be as well, actually. Like screen printed on a poster stickers um, and they've got slightly different caps and everything is slightly different from when I last used them and um, they've also got all the bits embossed on the back so there's definitely been some changes here I am think from the swatches of this because with the matte bottle you can't see as much in there so it's a black base I don't know if the pol the glitters in here are glitters or flakies and they're kind of silver kind of 
a little bit maybe like aurora looking also the bottle shots not going to really help you through the matte um glass container so make sure you stay looking for some swatches of that um but that is the fourth polish in this box um the owners the owners the brand owners also normally chuck in some cards and some information so you can obviously follow them in the future if you would like to then Becca throws in normally one or two items depending on what's going on. So we have a beautiful and wonderful Minnie Mouse. I don't know if you can see them through the packaging. Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse wax melts. Where Becca got the like mold for these, I don't know. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to fight these out. So look how stinking cute they are. That's the Mickey one. Am I gonna be able to get the mini one out? And they these are in a scent which is called Hotel of Dreams. And I'm pretty sure that she said that these are the smell of what like Disney puts in their hotel rooms. It's like Disney's sig signature like hotel scent. I can confirm it smells great and I would very much love it if Becca will do this scent in other items as well as the wax melts because I would buy it all. And we do have a cuticle in Enchanted Rose which is a rose smelling coach cuticle oil and this is in the Twist Up Lip Gloss um, finish packaging. Is that the word? So for this box we are getting four polishes, we're getting the wax melts and we're getting the cuticle oil. Um, I think it's really great value for money, I will say that. I think like £32-£33 is really great. Um, nice mixture of brands, I love that it rotates. Um, I have picked up every single box that they've done just because I've enjoyed the, normally the concept, everything. I really, really like it. They're tried and tested with me. So you can follow, I will link obviously Beautifully Polished and UK Indie Box down below on their Instagram so you can keep um, in touch with when the launches are going to be. I'm also going to link all the brands independently down below so if you want to shop at any you can obviously see that as well. Um, I'm going to quickly show you now these other products that I did get from Becca because they came in the same box and it feels rude not to. So I did pick up in her sale a room spray in Frosted Pie which was discounted obviously because it's no longer Christmas and I'm actually going to take this to work because I always find at work if I have like a hot lunch or a pasta or anything I feel like I smell out the office so I'd be nice just to put a little bit of a spritz and that can go next to the hand cream that is also in my office as well so that's what that's what that's going to be and I did pick up four new acetone additives I'm down to my last one from her and she started to release some kind of perfume dupes so I thought I'd pick them up all in acetone additive to try them out and I'll probably be buying like wax melts and things from her afterwards so I have an aliens one a black opium one a savage one and one mil so I'll allow you all to make your dedu deductions and mystery finding to what perfumes you think those are dupes for. But I like all of those things and excite. I love Becca's range. Now we move on to the excitement of a brand new box. When I saw this popping up and saw who was going to be involved in it, I instantly got very excited. Something new and a little bit of a change up from what we've been using. Um, this is organised from a Danglefoot now polish. So you've seen two Danglefoots because she partook in the indie box and she's curated this one which is called Beautifully Polished. So the theme of the first box was tea and the beautifully is got the word tea in it, if that makes sense. Um, and also it came with tea. I'm not a tea or coffee drinker. I'm a really bad Brit and I don't like tea, but it came with a tea bag in it. And also the cards on here, which is called the Beautifully Polished um, Box. And it has the names of the brands on there. So we have that as well. This one was £40 for a flat. There was no extra shipping involved. It's just £40 for everything in, which is for polishes. And also this one was available internationally. I think the idea was going to be each time it's going to be definitely dangle for and then two UK indies and then one international brand. And then that international brand will sell boxes on their own website. That's what happened this time. So I'm hoping that what happens in the future. So we will do the international polish last and we'll obviously start with the Danglefoot one because I've already told you that's one of the brands to expect. Danglefoot's polish is really really pretty and immediately caught my eye. It's called Spill the Tea um, and it's a lovely like off-white base and then there's a really strong like orangey red flash. I love it. I love how it looks. I can't wait to wear it. The swatches of all of these really captivated me. Um, I do probably have polishes like this in my collection, but I don't think I have anything like in an indie. I'm thinking of like I have definitely some OPIs and, and also a China glaze like this, but I'm very excited to have the white with orangey red flash. Um, it's one of my favourite combos. 
Another favourite indie brand for me from the UK is Prism Polish and she's taking part with Raspberry Sweet Tea and it is that blueberry, like blue raspberry slushy almost look um, with a slight purple flash and then also just tons of shimmer. I don't think, it might be holographic, might be a scattered hollow as well. I swear the more I do this channel you would think I would be better at describing polishes but I think I'm just getting worse and worse as it goes but Prism and Blue. I'm all about it. So that one was Raspberry Sweet Tea. Artist Nails is here with Peach Tea, which is a peachy orange base, and then there is a ton of flakies in there. I feel like I have this combination from them in a purple, where it's um, a purple jelly with tons of flakes. I feel like this is the orange equivalent of it. Um, orange isn't my favourite colour to wear, but that is just my own personal preference. But I do like Artist Nails, I like flakies, so I will be giving this one a try. So that one was the Peach Tea. And the drum roll please, which doesn't need to be a drum roll because most of you probably already know what brand this is because it's already out. But anyway, drum roll please for the international brand, which is Damn Polish. Um, this is their one, which is called Life Would Be, without boba, would be terrible. Um, and boba tea is not something that I have an experience with, so I probably just butchered the puns and everything off that. This is also my first ever Damn Polish. They are a newer US indie brand, but they've kind of been taking the world by storm a little bit. They have these beautiful as well, embossed bottles, which I really do appreciate and this is so stunning it does look like boba tea I do know what it looks like so it's like a light purple with a purple shimmer and then black kind of circly hex glitters it's gonna look perfect I'm really really excited I have actually picked up another damn polish since I bought this one so I'm excited to try more from the brand and that's like I said with the other one as well so I love these boxes because they kind of push you out your comfort zone sometimes you might only like three of the brands or you might only know of two or three of them and it's a really great way to then just try some other type other polishes and push yourself out there so I'm really excited to try Dan the box I believe was on sale on um, Dan Polishes website as well so if you may have been able to pick this up in the US if you were lucky enough um, fast shipping, fast delivery from both boxes so very excited, lots of new polishes to try. So let me know if you've tried either box down below in the comments. Um, I'd say I'm just so happy to show all these new items for you and have this kind of box, indie box options available more and more in the UK. Um, yeah, I had both of them. I thought I would do them in their own separate video opposed to saving them for a haul and now I can start wearing them because if you know me, I can't wear them until I haul them. So give me a thumbs up, subscribe, leave me all your comments down below and I will see you soon.